What's going on my dudes one step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to raid in in Mortal Kombat 1 Giving you some tips and tricks to keep in mind some best strategies to put in place And of course some fun and easy combos that you can use today Take it one step at a time Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so that everybody knows what we're talking about. Let's go ahead and start off with the bread and butter for Raiden, including his normals and his specials. And Raiden's got some awesome sauce to him. Some good normals that I like to keep in mind is your standard three and your standard four. Both are pretty good combos with good range and a decent anti-air, even though Raiden's got a really good anti-air for a special as his down forward two. And the cool thing about that, by the way, you can hold that and just wait for him to jump in it. You're like, come on, jump in here. You have a couple overhead options. I mean, the main one you're going to use is your forward three, four combo. That's a double overhead and a bounce up for a combo starter. You can dash into a combo after that. So you do forward three, four, dash three, four. You can do forward three, four, and then forward two, two. However you want to do that combo. The other overhead you have is your back two. As you saw there, it's a four hit attack for a single input. And it's not a combo extender or anything like that, but it is just like a nice overhead to throw out there because your opponent might expect this move and go, oh, they're going to do an overhead, I'll block it, but they might not expect this. So if you see your opponent starting to read your overheads, throw that out there, and you'll probably catch them off guard. Now for some low starters as well, Raiden's got a couple options that are both great. First and foremost, you have four, two, two, four. That ends in a low pop-up allowing you to combo from there using any special move. I'm talking all your special moves. You can do your back forward three after that. You can do your down forward two for combo extension. As you can see, a lot of combo routes are opened up simply from your forward two, two, four combo. It's also a low. You'll love to see it. Next, Raiden's got a forward four, three. You can continue that with forward four, three, four and just finish if you want to. But forward four, three is actually cancelable again in any specials, allowing you to start off with a low and go into any specials. One of your staple combos you're going to use quite often is your three, four. And the reason why you can see there, we pop our opponent into the air. Going into our air combos here, you see we have three main options. We have one, three, four, then we have two, one, two, and then two, two, four. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, both your one, three, four, and your two, one, two air combos lead into a special. And the only air special you have is your electric fly. So you'll probably lead both of those into your electric fly. And then your two, two, four combo bounces your opponent back up to continue a combo. We're going to do our three, four to show you how that looks, pop them up, and then do the combo. So here's our one three four in the air as you can see it kind of pushes them away but we can do our electric fly here's how that looks we can do one three four back forward three and that does connect and then here we're gonna do three four jump up two one two you see there it kind of pushes our opponent away but we can do our back forward three electric fly after that so we'll do the whole thing jump up there two one two back forward three and it connects. You might have noticed that your air combo one, three, four into your electric fly does do a bit more damage. So I found myself, if I'm gonna end that combo with my electric fly, I might as well just do my one, three, four. It just does more damage in the end. Now for your air combo two, two, four, you see there our opponents bounced up for a combo. And I found that the most consistent way to continue that combo is enhancing your down forward two electric grab. And here's how that looks. And the reason why the electric grab is your best option there is because it's got a really good range to it to grab your opponent from the air. Whereas Raiden's normals, though they have decent reach, they don't have quite that reach to hit your opponent from that bounce. For example, we'll try just our four, right? It doesn't quite hit, it's a bit slower. So again, your best option from there is to just grab them with this. You can do your down back three special move. Here's how that looks. And that does hit, but again, for more consistency, I found that down forward two, the electric grab works a lot better. With Raiden specials, he's got a couple great options. Of course, we have the electric grab. Enhance is a pop-up for continuation for combos. We have Raiden staple move the teleport down up. And that is gonna be one of your best staple moves, your best strategies for playing Raiden all around. You do not wanna forget his teleport. You wanna play Raiden for his teleport. It is just too good. It gets you out of corners. If they wanna try zoning you out, psych, we're behind you, combo time. They wanna use a cameo, psych again, grab him. The teleport is gonna be utilized so much, or at least it should be. Couple notes about his special moves here. We have a projectile down forward one, and that's great, but side on, you can actually hold that and charge up for free more and it's so cool and if you enhance that you actually charge up a lot faster of course we have a staple electric fly 
as you saw you can end a lot of combos with that move we have this down back to called the razzle dazzle doesn't look like much but it looks really cool in hands and here's how that looks you teleport, grab him, kick him off to their face. It looks so cool. It's not necessarily the best option, but it's pretty flashy. Then of course we have our electromagnetic storm, our down back three. And that's really cool because as you can see, it covers both sides. So if they try teleporting behind you or jumping around you, you're gonna catch them off guard with that. Now, if you enhance it, it doesn't look like much. Kind of looks the same, but the reason why you would want to enhance it, because if you do enhance it and then press X during so, you can actually shoot it off like a projectile, kind of like a wall, like a, like, like a whole electricity wall towards your opponent. And it does pop him up as well so you can actually like fly after that Radiant excels in almost any single range, including far, medium, close, and that's because he's got projectiles for himself. He can charge them if he needs to way faster. He can teleport to get in close and do what he wants from there. He's got good overheads. He's got good lows. He's got good pressure. He'll make you not want to jump in with his down back three or holding his down forward two. Play smarter, not harder. He's a character that can be aggressive, but you can't just button mash with it. I like to bait out my opponent's projectiles, make them want to zone me out, and then teleport and just get a free combo off. Side note, your best wake-up attacks for Raid is going to be Electric Fly Enhanced because that does gain armor. Other great options that I like to wake up with are my down back three in case they want to jump in on me or teleport behind me like if I'm fighting a Melina or something. Just cover all my bases. Or of course my down forward two in case they want to jump in on me. Plus if I hit my down forward two enhance on a wake up, I get a combo off. Speaking of combos, let's go ahead and get into some quick and easy combos that you can learn today. Guys, let me know down below. What do you think of Raiden in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? He's my main. I'm not going to lie to you. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.